Welcome to Tesla Info and today we're going to talk about Tesla depreciation. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe and ring the bell if you like our content. At Tesla Info we have charts showing the historic depreciation for most models in most countries. We plot the average price each week over time and you can see how the prices have changed. We also show the number of cars for sale each week. Because we are the only inventory site to mix both Tesla inventory and third-party listings, we feel this inside is unique. When looking at a car such as a 2015 Model S, 85D you can see some noticeable fluctuations, especially in 2021. We do see a steady drop in price over time, having a boost in 2021, and now prices are starting to fall back again. Newer models fare better. A 2018 Model 3 Long Range dipped during the pandemic, but are now back to 2019 levels. Another interesting feature is the effect of mileage. We can clearly see a downward trend with mileage despite the cars being low on maintenance and the talk of million-mile batteries. The final trait that we sometimes see is a disparity between Tesla CPOs and third-party prices. If we take the Model 3 Long Range in the UK, we can see two groupings, the higher grouping being inventory listed at Tesla. In part this is because Tesla have added FSD to all the cars, but this significant separation is not something we have seen before. The link to the depreciation charts is below, so you can check your own model or look at one you are thinking of buying. 